do 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 oh you know just uh hanging out here scrolling around all casual like in the phone loser facebook group oh look at this nicole wants me to make a list of the other comedy podcasts that i listen to when i'm not working on the snowplow show show stuff please post it on phonelosers.org fuck that shit i'm just gonna show you guys right now in this video I'm going to go through all the podcasts that I listen to. Hey, look at this one. It's another prank call show. It's done by King Richard and sometimes Olga. And sometimes I regret jumping. It's good stuff. He pretty much rips off the stuff that I do. And he uh, he makes it better. He's better at it than me. Uh, so, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I really enjoy this one. I'm a few episodes behind. I apologize for that, King Richard. But, um, yeah, another prank call show. That's one you should look up on your podcast feeds. Uh, Anti-social engineering. That's the uh, the Lux Riley Mix, um, you know, thing that he does. The What You Doing show. Uh, both of these here on top are, are him. Um, I've been on a couple of his shows, but every time I'm on one of his shows, he just deletes them from the internet forever. And we don't see them ever again, so... Yeah, that, that's that's that show. Um, Cave Crew Radio, that's a good one. Um, I've been on their show once or twice, or three times or so. Uh, the most recent one uh, says, I have not been raped four days ago. <laughs> so that kind of tells you what kind of show that is. It's, it's good stuff. You should definitely be listening to that one, Cave Crew Radio. I'm going to skip over most of these. Um... Because uh, Nicole just wants to know my favorites. So one of my favorites of the past year has been, Do You Know Who Jason Siegel Is? And they basically go state by state. Um, there's 36 episodes. They haven't released anything in about a month. In I'm sorry, in six months now. But as you can see, it's uh, every episode is a different state. And they call up businesses in each of these states and ask them, Do you know who Jason Siegel is? And if they say no, they just continue on with the prank call. If they say yes, they just continue on with the prank call. There's really no point to it. It's kind of dumb. But I like it a lot, and I've listened to every episode, even though it says that I haven't, I haven't listened to any. I really have. It's just that I've uh, switched podcast apps lately. I used to use podcast Pocket Casts, but now I use Podcast Alley. That's why it shows that I haven't listened to any. Uh, Duncan Trussell, he's a hippie. Holy shit, look at that. He's interviewed Justin Roiland. Uh, that's pretty cool. I need to download that one. I love me some Justin Roiland. But he interviews like new age type people. And uh, they talk about hippie type things like meditation and what kind of drugs they like to use. It's a bunch of stuff I'm not really into, but I, I really like du Duncan Trussell because he's just a funny guy. He's he, he's really funny. I like him. He's cool. Uh, he's been on the Do, Do You Know Who Jason Siegel podcast is a few times. Uh, mop Riding with Dwight. Dwight the Janitor. You know, Dwight. Um, yeah, I listen to this all the time. I don't listen to the podcast. I usually catch him live on Saturday nights. So that's definitely a good podcast to listen to. Dwight the Janitor. Hey, look at that. There's the high-quality Elite Cactus Squad feed on phonelosers.com slash cactus. Everyone should be listening to that one. Look, there's an episode that was, was released just 10 hours ago, but that's not true. That wasn't 10 hours ago. That was more like 3 hours ago. Why does it say 10 hours ago? That was a good episode, though. Uh, be sure you're listening to that one. Uh, I love this one. Evan Doorbell. Um, he does, he, he's, he's like an old guy like me. He, uh, he's, he's obsessed with the telephone company and old recordings from the telephone company. So he'll like, like back in the seventies and eighties, he would go to pay phones and set up recording equipment and record, um, himself calling various test lines and phone numbers and stuff from different switches around the country. It was pretty cool. I listen to this stuff all the time. I love it. I think most people would probably hate it, but I don't know. I think it's it's pretty great. Um, I've got to catch up on all this stuff. I've listened to most of this in the past, but uh, I'm catching up. I found out he had a podcast feed, 
and I've been listening to that lately. The following telephone recordings are from See, July that, that's him. As is most of the narration. Additional narration was added in 2015. Yeah, here. Uh, I can only dial company numbers, but when you come into the CCSA from one of the PBXs... It's, it's just him from the 70s and 80s calling into different telephone numbers. It's, it's fucking weird. Uh, let's see. Boring, 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 boring. I listen to Harmontown a lot. That's uh, Dan Harmon, the creator of Rick and Morty and also Community. Uh, he's pretty awesome. Uh, as long as it's a live show. If it's not a live show, then it's super boring. But if it's a live show, it's good stuff. Most of them are live shows. Uh, but him and Spencer and uh, What's-His-Face and Rob Schraub, they all do shows together. It's a lot of fun. Uh, they tour and stuff. It's good stuff. You should listen to Harmontown. Let's see. Uh, oh, this guy, Johnny Pemberton. Uh, he he focuses on music. He'll have guests on. Um, oh, look at that. It looks like he had his dad on recently. Um, but he'll have guests on, and he always questions them about what kind of music they like. And they play music for each other, and I discover a lot of cool musicians through this place. So... It's kind of a fun thing. Definitely definitely listen to Johnny Pemberton. He's the guy that played Son of Zorn, if you remember that show from Netflix. Was it Netflix? I can't remember. Um, Mr. Dobbelina's Wonderful World of Prank Calls. What a piece of shit that show is. Don't listen to that one. Fuck that. Um, Mysterious Universe. I've been listening to Mysterious Universe for over ten years now. Uh, it's about ghosts and UFOs and... You know, paranormal type stuff. It's a lot of fun. I don't believe in any of that stuff, but it's still fun to listen to. So, uh, I haven't listened to them in over a year now. <laughs> I, sh I should start listening to them again. I, I kind of miss that show. But I haven't listened to them in a while. Uh, let's see. Party time with Laugh Track, Matt and Zax. You know, you can't go wrong with party time. That's good stuff. Radio Free Camelin, he does mixes. He does these uh, audio soundscapes, um, which include all kinds of weird telephone recordings and music and just random stuff. And he includes a lot of PLA stuff. And I think that's why I like him mostly. Oh, this is Friday Night Trivial, though. He does a trivia show every Friday night, which I don't think I've ever managed to catch live on a Friday night. But I do occasionally hear on the podcast feed. But uh, he plays PLA stuff. I don't know if it's on this feed. Maybe it's on the other feed, because he has a couple feeds here. Uh, Reply All, that's an awesome NPR-type podcast. It's not NPR, but it's like NPR. You know, just human interest stuff. It's good stuff. Stick It with Mr. Biggs. Do -do -do. Uh, this is, um, you know, he, he takes audio from real... Radio phone calls, like AM radio type stuff, like crappy, um, like what's your bid type calls. And he mixes the audio and makes it sound like he's talking to them. It's genius. I mean, he doesn't do that on Stick It, but he just started doing it again recently. So I think that's going to start being a thing. Um, but ask Mr. Biggs. Look for that on your podcast feed. I can't recommend them enough. Uh, probably my number one favorite podcast of all time ever is the Distorted View podcast. This is the secret feed. It's called the Super Freak Sideshow, and you're getting a glimpse of a paid feed here. Um, Dick Lover Goes Shopping, Porn Star Rectal, Depreciation, <laughs> Drinking Urine Through Your Eye. That was a gross one. Um, bees fest feasting on your tears, a butthole's perspective. That's the kind of stuff Tim Henson's into from Distorted View. I highly recommend this podcast. Look for the Distorted View podcast. And if you really like Distorted View, uh, do what I did and be a supporter of the show. I pay $6.99 for this feed per month. And it's worth every penny of it. It's great. Uh, let's see. The Back Room. What the fuck is The Back Room? Oh, yeah. They used to be called something else. I found them through Nick Caesar because they interviewed him. And I think their feed stopped working. I don't know what happened to them. But, yeah. Yeah, don't worry about that one. Uh, tell them, Steve Dave. Yeah, that, that one's not that great. The Best Show. It's got Tom, Tom Sharpling in it. 
Uh, he's the voice of Greg Universe, the father of Steven Universe on the Steven Universe cartoon show. Yeah, you guys care about that. But he does a fun show. It's a lot of fun. He, uh, he takes calls on the air. Uh, I don't know. Does he do it like weekly or something? A couple times a week, maybe? Yeah, I would listen to the best show with Tom Sharpling. It's a fun show. He has live music in the studio sometimes. Yeah, listen to that. The Bone Zone. That is uh, the same people that do the Do You Know Who Jason Siegel podcast. Um, they haven't done a show in about a year now, according to this. Uh, I guess there was some drama behind the scenes, so they quit doing this show, and they started doing the Do You Know Who Jason Siegel Is podcast instead. But the Do You Know Who Jason Siegel Is podcast, that hasn't happened in about six months now. And Brendan from that show and this show... Well, I'm not making any sense, you guys. Anyway, this show's coming back. The Bone Zone. I wasn't around when this first came out, but I occasionally listen to random episodes of this. There are so many episodes. Look at all these episodes. There, There's just hundreds and hundreds of them. And it's coming back. Any day now. It's supposed to be any day now. So be on the lookout for that. Asterios Kokonos. He's a dick show guy. I really like Asterios. Uh, mainly I like his Boomer vs. Zoomer show that he does with Mumkey Jones. You should listen to that one. Boomer vs. Zoomer. Look for that on your podcast feed. He also does the loudest podcast with his girlfriend. That's also a lot of fun. But, I don't know, not as fun as Boomer vs. Zoomer. He does a lot of podcasts. He's kind of like me. He just... He does a shitload of different podcasts and puts them all in the same feed. Uh, the Dick Show, that is another one of my top three, probably. Uh, up there with, uh, you know, Mr. Biggs and Distorted View. Uh, the Dick Show. Um, he, he's kind of like a, I don't know, like, I guess you'd call him maybe a Tom Likas type of person. He hates women. <laughs> Um, I, I don't hate women, but I, I, I think he's funny. He's a lot of fun to listen to. Uh, he's up to 150 episodes right now. And yeah, listen to The Dick Show. That's my top three. Well, this is Nicole asking, so Nicole probably won't like any of those top three. The Dick Show, who hates women. The uh, Distorted View, who, um, you know, makes fun of <laughs> retarded people and and plays uh, scat porn and... <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, Mr. Biggs, who uh, is like an, uh, a fake AM radio show. Or no, he's he's just a podcaster now. But yeah, you'll probably hate all of those, Nicole. Sorry. You know, I'm a guy, so <laughs> I think this stuff is funny. Um, look at me being sexist. The Dollop. D the Dollop is a lot of fun uh, if you find the right episode. Some of them are incredibly boring, but it's like podcasts about history. But it's a couple of comedians doing it. And one is telling the other about the, the history events. And they just, they present them in a way that is really, really funny. And I highly recommend The Dollop. That's something that Liz Darwin recommended to me um, last year. And I have been listening to it ever since. It's a great show. Thanks, Liz Darwin, for that. The Thump. Um, what, what's wrong with this one? It says, last update failed. Yeah, why am I telling you guys about this? It's it's funny music. It's uh, parody songs and stuff like that. You you don't care about that. Uh, the MC Lars podcast. He interviews all kinds of people, like uh, mostly related to the music industry. He interviewed me once. I was on his podcast. That was a lot of fun. Look at that. Phone Losers of America on the MC Lars podcast. But holy crap, he, he, he interviewed Perry Grip, and that's pretty cool. I definitely need to listen to that soon. I love me some Perry Grip and Nerf Herder and stuff. I'll be listening to that one. Let's see, uh, Thought Cops. That's another Dick Show uh, spinoff podcast. I don't know if I should call it a spinoff, but they're a lot of fun. Um, a couple guys just, you know, just bitching about the world. Good stuff. Uh, 20,000 Hertz. That is an amazing podcast that was recommended to me by Mr. Biggs. Um, they, they just talk about sound. Uh, that sounds really boring, but no, it's really good stuff. It's just like sound in the movies, sound in video games. 
Uh, the most recent episode or the second to the most recent episode was about phones, like touch tones and stuff like that. And uh, that was pretty great to hear that right after I subscribed. Uh, you know, a big old episode about telephone stuff. And I can't get enough of that. Welcome to Night Vale. Okay, Nicole, this is one that you might like. Uh, because it's it's stories, it's uh, it's like a fake radio show uh, in a small town that's really spooky and paranormally type stuff. I think you'll like this one. Everyone should like this one. It's just it's fun. It's good times. Welcome to Night Vale. Everyone should definitely listen to that. I would say that's my number four podcast. Uh, you know, right below, ask Mr. Biggs and Distorted View and the Dick Show. Definitely listen to um, Welcome to Night Vale. That's a good one. Who are these podcasts? They find podcasts that suck really bad, and they just make fun of them a bunch. It's a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of episodes. Over 100 of them. 149, holy shit. Yeah, that, that it's fun. You know, you get to hear a bunch of shitty podcasts, and LOL. <laughs> it's good stuff. The Wood Enthusiast Podcast. I was recommended this by one of the Cave Crew Radio guys. Um, it's it's uh, three Canadian guys, I think, who are obsessed with wood. Like, they're really into woodworking, and they're into trees. And uh, remember those calls I did where I, um, I, I told people I was going into their yards and watering their trees in the middle of the night and putting space heaters next to their trees because their trees were cold. You know, I was obsessively, obsessively caring for the trees. And um, that's all because of the wood enthusiasts, because they were doing stuff similar to that in their show. It's a, it's a fictional show. I don't think they really care about trees that much. Uh, but their show's a lot of fun. They, they, they're just, they're always at odds with each other about tree care and stuff like that. It's good stuff. Listen to the wood enthusiast. I would say that's number five. I, I love the wood enthusiast. I've listened to every single show they've done. As you can see by these little green check marks next to every episode. Listen to them all. Great stuff. So there you go, Nicole. Those are my favorite podcasts. Uh, I listen to a lot of other stuff in here. Um, I also have another uh, podcast app that I go to occasionally. This is my old podcast app that I listen to things on. Um when I run out of stuff on my, my regular podcast app and yeah, a lot of stuff, you know, there's, there's Tom Green. I listen to some Polly Shore, Miserable Retail Slave. That's, that's good stuff. I like that one. Uh, Kevin Smith, uh, Kevin Smith does like a hundred different podcasts. Jason Scott, he's a lot of fun to listen to. Uh, lots of, uh, history about the computer world from Jason Scott. Um, what else? I don't know. Chelsea Peretti. Uh, we did a phone mob on her podcast once. I had everyone call in and say cactus, and she removed it from the podcast. We didn't get to hear it. And what else? I don't know. Just, just lots of stuff. So there you go, everyone. Everybody should listen to podcasts. If you're on an Android phone, there's a good podcast app called Podcast Addict. I highly recommend that one. Uh, that's what I use right now. I used to use Pocket Cast. I also recommend that one, but uh, Podcast Addict is good because it does secret feeds. Uh, for example, the Phone Losers of America Elite Cactus Squad secret feed. Pod Pocket Cast seems to have a problem with that. Um, but the main reason I have it is for the Super Freak Sideshow, which I am a sub subscriber to, and you know I have to be able to hear that. So that's why I use podcast addict uh, if you're on the iPhone use the app called podcasts and just search for all of these podcasts there's there's a lot of good stuff in there um, oh I know I don't have Madhouse in here by the way I always listen to Madhouse live so I don't have his podcast feed in here no offense to you Madhouse I just I don't have you in the new one I have you in the old one all right there you go, Nicole. Ho hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was informative. <laughs>